In the far reaches of the enigmatic eastern realm of Russia, where intrigue lingers in every whispering breeze, thrives an untamed, mysterious inhabitant so rare that tales of its existence are whispered amongst the intrepid few. Armed with a formidable weaponry, its long teeth and sharp claws remain concealed from prying eyes, a silent force waiting to be unleashed. Specialized in the art of defying gravity, it effortlessly ascends towering trees, navigating the heights with grace, and maneuvers through the uncharted depths of its domain. Surviving the harshest, most unforgiving climates where temperatures plunge below 30 degrees quite frequently, this true hermit of the wild stands as the sole member of its species to have adapted to live and hunt in such extreme winter conditions. Yet fate has rendered it the rarest feline in the world, a tragic distinction beyond its control. Meet the elusive Lord of the Icy Abyss, the Amur Leopard. Panthera pardus orientalis, commonly known as the Amur leopard, is a magnificent feline that inhabits the Primori region of southwestern Russia, as well as parts of northern China and possibly even North Korea. While they share a common ancestry with their African relatives, Amur leopards are slightly smaller in size. Like many creatures, the Amur leopard is known by various names depending on whom you ask. Some refer to it as the Siberian leopard, while others call it the Far Eastern leopard or Manjurian leopard. However, it's mostly widely recognized as the Amur leopard, the name that was bestowed upon it by researcher Reginald Pocock back in 1930 when he studied a leopard skin recovered from the Amur Bay in eastern Russia. Despite the assumption that all leopards look alike, the Amur leopard possesses distinct characteristics that set it apart from the other subspecies. Its most striking feature is its thick, pale, cream-colored fur, which becomes especially prominent during the winter months. The rosettes on its flanks are widely spaced exhibiting thick, unbroken rings with darkened centers. Moreover, Amur leopards, known for their striking beauty, exhibit a medium-sized stature, with males surpassing females in size. The majestic males measure between 42 to 54 inches long, accompanied by a tail spanning 32 to 35 inches long. Standing tall, their shoulder height ranges from 25 to 31 inches, while they carry a weight of 71 to 106 pounds. Conversely, the female possesses a slightly smaller frame, weighing in at 55 to 94 pounds. But it's not only their physical attributes that tend to captivate us, but also their intriguing behavior. Amur leopards are incredibly selective when it comes to choosing their territory, exhibiting a strong attachment to their possessions. These magnificent felines are inherently solitary, never relinquishing their territories without a compelling reason. Typically, an individual's territory is established within a river basin and naturally extends to the topographical boundaries of the surrounding area. Although occasional overlaps may occur between the territories of two individuals, they're minimal. The size of an individual's territory varies from 20 to 116 square miles. These territories provide ample space for these elusive cats to roam. It's fascinating to note that, over the course of many years, individuals of this species develop a strong attachment to specific hunting trails, migration routes, and even resting spots within their territories. This deep-rooted familiarity allows them to navigate their surroundings with precision and confidence. In their quest for survival, these spotted predators display a remarkable aversion to open areas, instead favoring the embrace of mountain formations adorned with lush forests. This preference stems from the fact that such locations receive lesser amounts of snow during the unforgiving winter season and provide an abundance of natural shelters, which are vital for their well-being. The Amur leopard, owing to its genetic isolation from other subspecies and its adaptation to unique habitats, boasts a myriad of distinctive characteristics. Notably, its fur undergoes a remarkable transformation during winter becoming not only soft and thick, but also impressively long, reaching a length of up to 2.8 inches on the stomach. This extraordinary attribute serves as a crucial survival mechanism, effectively insulating the Amur leopard from the bone chilling temperatures that permeate its habitat, often plummeting to a frigid negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Moreover, the Amur leopard possesses relatively short legs that play a dual role in its survival strategy. These limbs, despite their diminutive stature, have been adeptly designed to minimize heat loss, enabling the predator to conserve its precious energy. In an unexpected twist, these seemingly unassuming appendages also exhibit surprising strength and width, rendering them like exceptional snowshoes in the harshness of winter. The further complement its innate survival prowess, the Amur leopard's coloration undergoes a fascinating change that harmonizes with different seasons. As the winter snow blankets the terrain, the leopard's coat gradually adopts a paler hue, seamlessly blending in with its snowy backdrop. This adaptive response, coupled with the leopard's naturally spotted pattern, bestows upon the predator a sublime camouflage, rendering it virtually invisible against the backdrop of the landscape throughout the year. The Amur leopard, much like its feline counterparts, possesses a remarkable inclination for stealth. 
Whether it's at dusk, night, or even during the day, this elusive predator adeptly conducts its hunts, always striving to maintain a silent presence. With the utmost caution, it treads upon the stones, avoiding the slightest disturbance, fully aware that even the smallest, faintest rustle of the forest floor could betray its stealthy maneuvers. When the Amur Leopard embarks on a hunt, it employs two distinctive tactics. One approach involves patiently guarding its target from a concealed vantage point, launching a surprise attack from an ambush. Alternatively, it skillfully tracks down its prey, reducing the distance with calculated precision before abruptly overtaking it with a series of powerful leaps. These remarkable jumps can propel the leopard up to 10 feet in the air and nearly 20 feet horizontally, leaving its unsuspecting quarry bewildered and vulnerable. Showcasing its exceptional athleticism, the Amur Leopard can reach top speeds of approximately 40 miles per hour. Although it can only sustain this rapid pace for short bursts, it, it proves enough to outpace almost all potential prey. Once caught, the leopard's voracity is unleashed upon its hapless victim, with a bite force that surpasses an average of 300 to 310 pounds per square inch, the predator tears apart its quarry mercilessly. As the apex predator of its habitat, the Amur leopard feasts upon a diverse range of prey. It primarily consists of uh, sika deer, roe deer, and wild boars. However, in times of scarcity, it doesn't hesitate to prey upon hares, badgers, birds, even mice. Yet a single large kill can satiate the hunter's appetite for several days. Additionally, adapted to endure the harsh temperatures of its environment, the Amur leopard can survive without food for up to two weeks in extreme circumstances. However, this may not hold true for a mother leopard with her vulnerable cubs by her side. In such cases, these elusive creatures may resort to feeding on dead or frozen carcasses abandoned by scavengers. In the video, a mother Amur leopard could be seen taking the lead, guiding her cubs towards an abandoned carcass that had been left behind by bickering vultures. In the unforgiving climate they inhabit, even such a discovery holds immense value for the leopard family. As the mother swiftly approaches the carcass, her sense of urgency is not mirrored by her cubs. The vultures have left behind a plentiful amount of meat, but stiff with frost. Determined, the mother diligently works to open up the hide, making feeding a little easier for the young ones. Food scarcity, however, is not the only challenge for them in the wild. Competition faced by these exceptional felines is exceedingly fierce. They not only contend with fellow leopards for vital resources, territories, and breeding rights, but they are also they confront threats from other predators. In certain regions, the geographic ranges of Amur leopards and Siberian tigers overlap, leading to potential clashes, especially when prey is scarce. When these encounters occur, the significantly larger tiger typically wins, asserting its dominance. Fortunately, interactions between humans and Amur leopards are very, 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 very rare. Thanks to the leopards' elusive nature and their vast territories, these elusive creatures prefer to keep their distance from human settlements, opting instead to prey on wild animals. Although Amur leopards can display aggressive behavior when threatened, there have been no documented instances of them attacking humans in the wild. While they possess excellent swimming abilities like other cats, they don't like water, really. You know, that's because their long fur, drying off, becomes so challenging to them. Consequently, these magnificent creatures often seek refuge in high altitudes, probably trying to avoid the water. Moreover, these elevated locations offer advantageous vantage points for both observing prey and competitors, as well as leaving scent marks to attract potential mates. After mating, a typical litter consists of about three blind and vulnerable cubs who gradually become more active outside their shelter for after a few months or so. Being the rarest subspecies of wildcats in the world, the Amur leopard has been protected from hunting for over half a century. However, the persistent issues of unemployment and poverty have driven local residents to engage in poaching activities, enticed by the high value of the animal's skin and bones on the black market. Primarily, it's the inhabitants of small villages in and around the leopard's habitat, mostly local Russians, who are responsible for killing these rare feline species. By the turn of the century, these majestic beings that once traversed vast territories found themselves reduced to a meager population of about 35. Yeah, I'll let that one sink in. 35. To address the critical state, attempts were made to rectify the situation. By the establishment of reserves and implementation of diversifying projects, their success remained partial. Today, approximately 130 Amur leopards exist in the wild, gradually reclaiming their lost territories and expanding into new areas. Sadly, the uh, current status of the Amur leopard remains a cause for concern. It's classified as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List, and its population numbers continue to decline, exacerbating the urgency for conservation efforts. So yes, another one bites the dust, nearly at least, so... Hey, maybe you can tell your kids that we used to have this cool animal, and uh, plenty of other animals that will go extinct due to what we do. Human beings, can I get a whoop whoop for human beings? <laughs>